Namaste, everybody. I want to talk to you a little bit about traveling during COVID. Um, my wife and I have gone the last three weeks down to southern Colorado looking for property, and it's been pretty amazing. The area is absolutely beautiful, but a piece of property just popped up in eastern Oklahoma. And so we went out there and looked at it, and um, last minute I booked a flight to Tulsa. I was unable to get a rental car, so thank you. Hopefully my brother Aaron was my little tourist and drove me around, taxi driver. Um, but I want to talk to you a little bit about that journey and what that was. I'm going to include some photos in this. This is completely impromptu, so it's not like a top 10 list. This is all completely off the cuff. So getting the flight from here to there was really seamless. I was unable to get a rental car down there. Um, I'm not sure if it's just certain companies are not open or maybe because of the amount of traffic that's not occurring right now in Tulsa. So I flew from Denver and then from Denver to Dallas and then from Dallas to Tulsa and then I did the same thing on the way back so I left Tulsa flew down to Dallas and then back up to Denver so Denver was unbelievably quiet the TSA was hardly anybody was going through the line um, and then when I got to Dallas you know it was kind of busy I would say but it would be more like if you were traveling like maybe on an early Sunday morning or maybe like a late Saturday night like there's traffic in the Southwest Terminal but once again there was only a couple of places open like Dunkin Donuts, Moe's and like two other places were actually open all the other restaurants all the all the other kiosks are closed um, and then you get to Tulsa and I'd never experienced anything like that there was only six cars waiting we were the only flight and I will include photos looking both ways but there's literally nothing open and nobody in the terminal and of course at um, all airports there's quite a few aircraft but especially Denver and Tulsa there's a lot of aircraft on the terminal so I want to tell you that I've traveled you know for years since I was really young junior high and traveling a long time ago it was really nice it was really just convenient it wasn't inconvenient going through TSA wasn't a hassle getting on the plane the staff was really friendly and courteous it was like customer service was an exceptional it wasn't like it's a privilege for you to be on the on the plane they're gonna do whatever they can to keep you coming on that plane right and they're gonna provide amazing exceptional care but maybe it was different society in the 70s and 80s maybe people just generally cared about others more and they weren't selfish so for me traveling the last few years has been completely totally just inconvenient, frustrating, and I just do not enjoy airline travel at all. Um, from the TSA to being crowded, to taking their time, um, to other people flying as rude and inconsiderate, you get on the plane and everybody's just, you know, frustrated and anxious. It's not the same. You get on this on the plane on Southwest, the middle seat is open, unless you're with a couple, you know, two people flying together or three or whatever it may be, they can sit together. But otherwise, they're asking you for the middle seat to be off. They're asking that everybody refrain from um, not having a mask. So they request that everybody going on the plane has a mask. And so you still have some people, um, I will say, of course, you know, the white privileged people and the Louis Vuittons and everything like that that don't have, even have masks. You have a lot of younger people that aren't wearing masks, and I get that. I mean, once again, look at the statistics. Look at my previous COVID video. But the elderly people you know, where they're more cautious, they're more considerate and more understanding. I mean, there was elderly people with goggles on and gloves and the full, like, you know, high-end mask and just doing everything they could to make sure that they're protected at any point from getting COVID. So overall, the travel there and back was really, really awesome. I would have to say it was really seamless. I will say that if you're going to travel, now is the time to do it. Flights are um, very affordable. There's plenty of room on flights. It's very easy to go through TSA. Nothing against them right now, but I accidentally, accidentally took a knife 
from here down to Tulsa. I was opening my bag on the way back. Just I was looking for something, and I was like, oh, my God, I actually got a knife through security. So I'm not saying that that's going to happen every time, but I'm just saying that they are a lot more relaxed at this point. They're a lot more genuine. They're a lot more nice. They're a lot more courteous. And I just hope that they continue on this path, that I hope that as we continue to, to grow and manifest that we find this kindness and that we have this consideration for other people and that we give them the space that they need. I think it's very, very important that people have their space. Of course, there's a lot of things with this whole pandemic that I don't understand. They want you to stay six feet apart as you do, but once you get on a plane, you're two feet apart, right? I'm two feet from the person in front of me and I'm two feet from the person side to me and now I'm in this enclosed, you know, aircraft flying for, you know, depends on the flight, an hour to, to two hours, 45 minutes or whatever it may be. So there's some logistical aspects of it that common sense is thrown out the window. So not only am I, I'm, I'm further from you when I'm in the terminal, but I'm closer to you when I'm in the airplane and now we're actually exchanging the same oxygen. And of course the, the plane was immaculate. I mean the plane from Denver to Dallas, I, I swear that thing was like brand new. I'd never seen Southwest playing as clean. And they were all super, super clean. So Southwest is doing an amazing job. TSA is doing an amazing job. Um, and if you have any questions or anything, just let me know. But I'm going to encourage you, if you have vacation plans and you want to go travel, this is a great time to do it. The airports are not crowded. TSA is taking great care of the people and employees. They're very kind. They're very courteous. It's nothing that I've experienced since the late 70s, early 80s with TSA. Absolutely. So I love you guys. I hope this gives you a little bit more information uh, about traveling with COVID right now. I plan on doing it again this weekend. Love you guys. Have a great day.